If you somehow didn't know, space is really, really big. And because of that, there are all sorts of things in space that go on that we don't get to see with our naked eyes or with certain devices that we put out into space. The catch with that is that there are certain telescopes that we've put out into the starry night to try and catch some of these events. And one of them is the famous Hubble Space Telescope, a device so good that it apparently caught something rather special recently. Allow us to show you how NASA observed first ever Kilanova explosion with Hubble Telescope. Kilanova Explosion For the first time, Northwestern University-led astronomers may have detected an afterglow from a kilonova. A kilonova occurs when two neutron stars, some of the densest objects in the universe, merge to create a blast 1,000 times brighter than a casual nova. In this case, a narrow, off-axis jet of high-energy particles accompanied the merger event, dubbed GW170817. Three and a half years after the merger, the jet faded away revealing a new source of mysterious X-rays. As the leading explanation for the new X-ray source, astrophysicists believe expanding debris from the merger generated a shock, similar to the sonic boom from a supersonic plane. This shock then heated surrounding materials, which generated X-ray emissions, known as a kilonova afterglow. An alternative explanation is materials falling toward a black hole, formed as a result of the neutron star merger caused the X-rays. Either scenario would be a first for the field, the study was published on February 28, 2022 in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. We have entered uncharted territory here in studying the aftermath of a neutron star merger, said Northwestern's Aprajita Hajela, who led the new study. We are looking at something new and extraordinary for the very first time. This gives us an opportunity to study and understand new physical processes which have not before been observed. Hajila is a graduate student at Northwestern Center for Interdisciplinary Exploration and Research in Astrophysics, CIERA, and in the Department of Physics and Astronomy in the Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences. On August 17, 2017, GW170817 made history as the first neutron star merger detected by both gravitational waves and electromagnetic radiation, or light. Since then, astronomers have been using telescopes around the world and in space to study the event across the electromagnetic spectrum. More clues. Using NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, astronomers observed X-ray emissions from a jet moving very close to the speed of light produced by the neutron star merger. Starting in early 2018, the jet's X-ray emission steadily faded as the jet continued to slow and expand. Hajila and her team then noticed from March 2020 until the end of 2020, the decline in brightness stopped, and the X-ray emission was approximately constant in brightness. This was a significant clue. The fact that the X-ray stopped fading quickly was our best evidence yet that something in addition to a jet is being detected in X-rays in this source, said Raffaella Margutti, astrophysicist at the University of California at Berkeley and a senior author of the study. A completely different source of X-rays appears to be needed to explain what we're seeing. The researchers believe a kilonova afterglow or black hole are likely behind the X-rays. Neither scenario has ever been observed. This would either be the first time we've seen a kilonova afterglow or the first time we've seen material falling onto a black hole after a neutron star merger, said study co-author Joe Bright, also from the University of California at Berkeley. Either outcome would be extremely exciting. To distinguish between the two explanations, astronomers will keep monitoring GW170817 in X-rays and radio waves. If it is a kilonova afterglow, the X-ray and radio emissions are expected to get brighter over the next few months or years. If the explanation involves matter falling onto a newly formed black hole, then the X-ray output should stay steady or decline rapidly, and no radio emission will be detected over time. Further study of GW170817 could have far-reaching implications, said study co-author Kate Alexander, a CIERA postdoctoral fellow at Northwestern. The detection of a kilonova afterglow would imply that the merger did not immediately produce a black hole. Alternatively, this object may offer astronomers a chance to study how matter falls onto a black hole a few years after its birth. The study, Evidence for X-ray emission in excess to the jet afterglow decay 3.5 years after the binary neutron star merger GW170817. A new emission component was supported by NASA, 
the National Science Foundation, the U.S. Department of Energy, and the Royal Astronomical Society. The Original Merger Image the final chapter of this historic detection of the powerful merger of two neutron stars was written about five years ago in 2017. After the extremely bright burst finally faded to black, an international team led by Northwestern University painstakingly constructed its afterglow, the last bit of the famed event's life cycle. Not only is the resulting image the deepest picture of the neutron star collision's afterglow to date, it also reveals secrets about the origins of the merger, the jet it created, and the nature of shorter gamma ray bursts. This is the deepest exposure we have ever taken of this event in visible light, said Northwestern's Wenfei Fong, who led the research. The deeper the image, the more information we can obtain. The light from GW170817 was detected, partly because it was nearby, making it very bright and relatively easy to find. When the neutron stars collided, they emitted a kilonova, light 1,000 times brighter than a classical nova, resulting from the formation of heavy elements after the merger. But it was exactly this brightness that made its afterglow, formed from a jet traveling near light speed, pummeling the surrounding environment, so difficult to measure. For us to see the afterglow, the kilonova had to move out of the way, Fong said. Surely, enough about 100 days after the merger, the kilonova had faded into oblivion, and the afterglow took over. The afterglow was so faint, however, leaving it to the most sensitive telescopes to capture it. And that's where the Hubble came in. Hubble Starting in December 2017, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope detected the visible light afterglow from the merger and revisited the merger's location 10 more times over the course of a year and a half. At the end of March 2019, Fong's team used the Hubble to obtain the final image and the deepest observation to date. Over the course of seven and a half hours, the telescope recorded an image of the sky from where the neutron star collision occurred. The resulting image showed, 584 days after the neutron star merger, that the visible light emanating from the merger was finally gone. Next, Fong's team needed to remove the brightness of the surrounding galaxy in order to isolate the event's extremely faint afterglow. To accurately measure the light from the afterglow, you have to take all the other light away," said Peter Blanchard, a postdoctoral fellow in CIERA and the study's second author. The biggest culprit is light contamination from the galaxy, which is extremely complicated in structure. Fong, Blanchard, and their collaborators approached the challenge by using all 10 images, in which the kilonova was gone and the afterglow remained as well as the final, deep Hubble image without traces of the collision. The team overlaid their deep Hubble image on each of the 10 afterglow images. Then, using an algorithm, they meticulously subtracted, pixel by pixel, all light from the Hubble image from the earlier afterglow images. The result? A final time series of images showing the faint afterglow without light contamination from the background galaxy. Completely aligned with model predictions, it is the most accurate imaging time series of GW170817's visible light afterglow produced to date. The brightness evolution perfectly matches our theoretical model of jets, Fong said. It also agrees perfectly with what the radio and x-rays are telling us. Why the Hubble still matters As you likely have heard by now, the Hubble Space Telescope is getting replaced by the James Webb Telescope that is already out in space. The catch, though, is that the James Webb is still working out the bugs in terms of its camera picture quality. Due to this, people are still going to be using the Hubble to do research and get pictures of things as it is still their best until James Webb is 100% ready. And even then, people will likely still use the Hubble for various things because why wouldn't you when it's out there? So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the Kilanova explosion and how it was very impressive that the Hubble telescope got a picture of it? Do you think that despite it becoming obsolete that it will continue to get good shots like this? What was one of your favorite things that the Hubble Space Telescope caught on its camera? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.